Welcome to AARP Community Education Program. Today we will be talking about Medicare, specifically enrollment periods. Now first, there is some good news to share about both Medicare and Social Security. The Part D premium for Medicare will actually decrease by about $5 next year, and insulin co-payments will be capped at $35 a month, and the Part D donut hole has been eliminated, and prescription drug costs in the catastrophic stage will be $0 starting in 2024. Until then, they will be about 5%. Medicare will now be able to negotiate prescription drug prices as a result of legislation, and it's expected that prices will go down as a result. Finally, the Social Security COLA for 2023 is 8.7%, which is the largest increase in decades, and the average increase in benefit is about $146 a month. Now, Medicare's open enrollment period has begun as of October 15th through December 7th. You should have received in your mail information about changes to Medicare or Social Security, and that information can involve coverage costs or service. You also should receive your 2023 Medicare and You Handbook, and this will give you more detail about Medicare coverage and prescription drug plans for 23. If you're happy with your current plan, there is no need to take any action. If you need more information before making any decisions, you can get help within the community with information provided by Medicare counselors in your area by phone, using the State Health Insurance Assistance Program, which is run by the Area Agency on Aging. All right, we're gonna talk about enrollment periods. And the first period is really the initial enrollment. And this is centered around your 65th birthday you can enroll up to three months early or three months after the month of your 65th birthday. You don't want to miss your initial enrollment, but if somehow you do, you have to wait for the general enrollment period. And if that happens, penalties may apply. General enrollment is from the beginning of the year January 1st to March 31st. And you can use that period if somehow you managed to miss your initial enrollment. The penalties I talked to earlier, and these penalties are for forever, not one time. And they can amount to 10% a year if you miss signing up for Medicare Part B. And 1% a month for Part D medications. As I said before, penalties are for the life of the program. And if you sign up late, your coverage will only begin on July 1st. Special enrollment. Now, if there are life event changes in your other coverage and other circumstances, or if you are older than 65 and still working and have creditable health coverage through your employer, you have up to eight months to sign up for Medicare after the credible coverage ends. However, we recommend that you sign up sooner so that you don't miss any other deadlines. Some people may have COBRA insurance through their employer. However, this is not considered credible coverage. So once again, signing up for Medicare 
is an important consideration. And if there are any questions you have about what is considered credible, discuss it with the HR department of your employer. The Medicare open enrollment period begins October 15th through December 7th. And you can look at your coverage and there are some changes that can be made during this period of time. Now, if you are on Medicare Advantage, there is an open enrollment period from January through the end of March where you can change an Advantage plan or if you choose, you can return to original. However, if you return to original, questions about pre-existing conditions can be made and the pricing of the plan may be adjusted accordingly. Resources available to you is the State Health Insurance Assistance Program, and that is the website, shiphelp.org. It will ask for your state name and take you to Area Agencies on Aging. We are Region 1, and you can talk to a person uh, on the phone if you choose. You can go to the Medicare website, which has a fair amount of general information. And once again, you can talk in person to the 800 number on the screen. Access, which is an Arizona program for lower income individuals, is a website. And once again, a phone number where you can speak to a person directly. And finally, the AAR website relative to Medicare QA is available as well as in-person responses at the number you see on the screen. So thank you very much for listening and uh, enjoy the rest of the CEP programs that we shall present to you in the future.